Hello, welcome back. We will now continue our discussion of switch case. This time, we will have an example using character data type. On our sample problem, we're going to design a program that will determine if the employee is an agent, team leader, or operations manager. So on our example, if we let we if we enter A, we will say that the employee is an agent. Other than three other than listed three codes, the other codes are invalid. Let us start Eclipse. Let's create our program. Right click Java package, new class. We enter the program name, job. Let us create our main method. Let us declare our scanner class for the input. Declare it up for its uh, package. Now we're ready to declare or ready to prompt the user to input the corresponding codes. We will uh, have mcode string as the repository for the employee code entered as input. We declare it with a null value as we initialize it at the start of the program. There is a possibility that the input is in lowercase letter. To simplify our approach in validating the inputs, we need to convert the input letter into an uppercase form. We overwrite whatever currently installed in variable mcode string. We do this by this line. We need now to create a character data type variable mcode car that we will use for our switch statement. Here we declare mcode car as character data type with an initial value of anything installed at mcode string. The zero in mcode string character at zero represents the part of the text value of mcode string that needs to be extracted. Counting starts at zero, not one. We'll have now our switch statement. So on our first case, we will have <coughs> A. If it is in A, employee will have a value of agent. After that, we'll have our break statement. But before we proceed, let us declare our variable employee on top, also with a string data type. Let us continue with our case. If we have A entered, our employee will have a value of agent. B will have employee with a value of team leader and M with manager. If none of these letters are entered, we just update it with the value in valid code. 
as indicated on the default. Take note that the character values are enclosed with single quote, not double quotes. You need to do this when working with character data type. Let's have now our output. Before we continue, let us correct this one, the break statement. Let's concatenate employee with our output. Let us check for the errors. No error. Let us save it. And run. So here we enter small letter M to taste its uh, lowercase if it is working or letter A, I mean. So, employee is an agent. Let us try big letter A. Still, employee is an agent. Let's rerun. This time, let us test big letter L. Employee is a team leader. Let us test small letter M. Employee is manager. Let's try testing invalid code. For example, we enter letter J. Employee is invalid code. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script, or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.